Hi, welcome to another demo series of BizData product solutions. Today, we will take a look at how the Easy Integrations platform will help us to integrate data from Salesforce to Snowflake. For a detailed explanation of the Easy Integrations platform, please watch our platform overview video on our website or YouTube channel. The Easy Integrations platform is a secured, seamless integration framework that enables the transfer of data between source to target systems with easy to configure steps. We use secure API and other means of inbound outbound access provided by enterprise applications to enable this integration. Today, we are integrating data from the source, which is Salesforce, with Snowflake, which is our target. Without any further ado, let's jump into the application and let's see how the integration between these two is done. Before we jump into our application to see what data we are going to flush into Data Warehouse, first, log into Salesforce, which is our source. We have custom object called items here, and it contains some records. List down the column names required to create table in our target. Let's jump into our target, which is Snowflake. Here, we have already created a table called items and created columns listed from Salesforce. We are flushing item information from Salesforce to Snowflake Data Warehouse. This is items table. Now let us run a select query to verify whether table has any data or not. Yes, the table is empty now. Let us jump into our application and configure source and target. Let us log in to the Easy Integrations application now. As we spoke earlier, Easy Integrations provides simple step to enable the integration services. It involves configuration of source, configuration of target, and then creation of an integration bridge service. To enable the integration service, to begin with, we configure a source from where we fetch data. In this case, we go for source as Salesforce. Once we open the Salesforce source and create a new source, we name the source as per need. Source type will be selected automatically. On the Input tab, select the Salesforce connection name from the dropdown. Selected object name and, if required, provide filters. Under Operations tab, we can define any data transformation operations that needs to be applied to incoming data. Save the source. Once the source creation is complete, click on Data Targets on Menu to configure a target system. Our target is Snowflake Data Warehouse. So now, we take our target system as Snowflake, provide target name as per need, target type is selected automatically to default value. Click on Output tab, provide your Snowflake account details, such as account name, warehouse, database name, schema name, username and password, and the role. Select type as SQL and select the object name from the dropdown. Object's name will appear in the dropdown only. The API catalog for a particular target is created in API catalog menu. Click on Save. Navigate to Integration Bridge and create a new service. Click on Add to create new service. Provide a service name, juice source type and sauce name from the dropdown. Choose Target as well. In Mapping section, map the columns from Source to Target columns from the list available. Map only the required columns. Click on Save button. Before starting integration service, let us log in to Snowflake Data Warehouse. Log in to Snowflake with your credentials. Here, we have already logged in to Snowflake. As you can see, the Context section, we have got all information provided in Data Target. That is, role as sysadmin. Warehouse name is compute underscore wh, database name as demo underscore dv, and schema name as public. We are flushing item information from Salesforce to Snowflake Data Warehouse. To store data, we need a table. We are flushing data into items table. Let us run a select query to verify whether table has any data or not. Yes, the table is empty now. Let us check what data we are going to flush from Salesforce. Come back to Integration Bridge and start the integration service. Once the service starts running, wait for a minute. Let the service read the item data from Salesforce. Open Snowflake Worksheet and rerun the select query. 
Well, within a minute, our easy integration service brought all 19 records from Salesforce to Snowflake Data Warehouse. Let us add one more item information in Salesforce. Click on New Item. Provide all the item information and given fields. We have created new item with item ID 70. Now item list has 20 records in it. Come back again to Snowflake Worksheet. In Snowflake Worksheet, execute select query one more time. As you can see, 20th record has been brought to Data Warehouse in real time with no wasting time. Yes, item ID 70 record has been added to table successfully. Similarly, we can create seamless integrations between two systems with our Easy Integrations product. Thanks for watching. Call us or visit us at www.bizdata360.com for more information. You can also request for a no obligation demo by writing to us at info at bizdata360.com or call us at 1-650-283-1644.